everyone let's come back and start with the next important reaction that is your xenon compounds so xenon is going to combine with fluorines and forming and forms xenon fluorides it also combines with uh, oxygen and forms oxygen uh, that is xenon oxychloride different compounds of that type so let's see the first preparation of xenon fluorides that is xcf2 xcf4 and xcf6 so when they ask such question that it's easy but the important thing is try to write the physical states try to write the uh, pressure required and try to write the temperature and write the product final so they've asked me to prepare xcf2 isn't it now simple let us write the first compound so xenon <coughs> gaseous state i said physical state next i'm going to take two fluorine atoms so two fluorine atom this also is in gaseous state now next i'm going to pick up i have to prepare xcf4 so what do i do i'm going to take three fluorine atoms uh, right uh, let's see whether did I okay let us write directly I'm sorry this is not a 2 now here this will be 2 because I want only xcf2 isn't it so xc plus f2 right now note this now xc again with two fluorine atoms I, I can prepare the second one the third one xc plus three fluorine atoms I can prepare the third one let's see how can I write now when I take one fluorine just combine xc and f2 nothing big logic in this xc f2 which is a solid now here just see I have taken two moles isn't it two twos are four so xc f4 this is a solid now three twos are six so xc f6 this is again a solid compound now let's see <coughs> I have written the physical states everywhere I have written the balanced equation everywhere I need to write the uh, pressure now here this particular thing occurs at a temperature of 573 Kelvin and one bar so here the amount of xenon taken is excess right now when I have to come back to the second reaction this is your first reaction this is the second compound so this particular xenon when I take we are going to mix up in the ratio of 1 is to 5 this in the ratio of 1 is to 20 so this would be your third reaction now I have to write this is 573 a bit higher 873 Kelvin and this would be 7 bar when I have to prepare this, <coughs> the temperature a bit lesser, this is 573, this is 873, right to make this a 673 Kelvin and but the pressure used is very high, that is 60 to 70 bar pressure is required. So simple, what, what do the examiners see? They are going to see this pressure because in the paper also they may give you these two and give you the pressure and ask you to write the product. So at this particular pressure you will find get this product. For example, suppose if I if they give me Xc, okay plus f2 right nothing balanced they've given me here 873 kelvin and 7 bar pressure so immediately what should you do you have to see okay 873 kelvin uh, the product which i'm going to prepare is xcf4 so for 4 i need 2 and you balance the reaction so I finally write this is gaseous state this is gaseous and this is solid so for that we are going to mention the temperature and pressure so please note this question with one mole i get xcf2 2 moles I get XCF4, 3 moles I am going to get XCF6.